Hello everyone, I'm Chris Mozillo Salesson, and today I'll be talking about something that has plagued gaming for quite a while now, and has even become like a common and even accepted like business practice, being pre-order bonuses, and in particular, the complete mind blow that is Ubisoft's Watch Dogs. I mean, I think it's pretty stupid, it is. But let's have a look, shall we? Watch Dogs has only just recently actually hit the shelves, and to say it's the first game in a series, Ubisoft would much rather you think it be the second coming. This is most apparent when you look at just how many pre-order bonuses there were for the game. It got to the point where you needed a bachelor's in the subject to even fully understand what you exactly get from each pre-order. Pre-order bonuses are an incredibly lame way of getting people to buy the game before any reviews come, can come out and say that the game is a steaming pile of shit. This is done by adding that sense that you'll be getting an, something exclusive for buying the game before anyone can tell you not to. Really though, pre-order bonuses reflect a lack of confidence in your own product. The fear that your game may be hated by everyone and thus not sell the millions copies required to hit the black. So. Why not use large chunks of the budget to make pre-order bonuses, so people will buy the game regardless? But in theory, this ploy shouldn't even work to begin with with a new IP, as no one in the buyer's market should have any vested interest in a new IP. There are no characters you'll want to see again, or overarching plot that you'll be interested in. In a new IP, it's new characters, new game, new world, seemingly not a UI, but either way, no one should care for a new IP. So when you see Ubisoft packaging Aiden Pierce's iconic cap with a pre-order bonus, you know that things have gotten insane. When I first saw this, I didn't even know who Aiden Pierce was. Turns out he's the fucking main character. I wouldn't even call a brown and bland baseball cap iconic to begin with, let alone the idea that you can't have an iconic hat of a character that no one's even properly seen yet in a game that's not even out yet. You also have to take into account that with there being so many special editions that the Ubisoft Theosaurus must have been quickly running out of words for special edition, that none of them will actually have all of what you want. There's no graduated scale of limited editions, there's no edition where you can just buy everything up to and including the fucking baseball cap. As dumb and moronic as all this physical and stuff is in pre-orders, it's not too bad as pre-orders go. Sure, it's dumb for a new IP and if anything just takes out large chunks of the budget, but there will be parts of teams that have ultimately nothing to do near the end of development. One of the largest and most frequent problems with pre-orders is the chipping off of content. There's some things which are harmless like overpowered weapons in a single player game or aesthetic nonsense and that's fine, throw as much as of that as you want in the pre-order, but when it comes to whole mission segments, or a whole fucking character, that's when shit starts to grind my biscuits. You would think content made before the game release would actually be released with the game, but no no. Pre-order bonuses have gotten worse, where a game is now officially announced with a screen like this. Fucking this. Hey, we're announcing a new game, don't forget to pre-order it right now, this second to be able to play a bunch of content we previously hid behind a second hand wall. Would it become common practice to just announce a game alongside the announcement of pre-order bonuses, as seen with Far Cry 4, you have to start questioning everything. When you're already being told to pre-order the game before you've even seen a cinematic trailer, let alone gameplay, you realise that everything is now wrong in the world. I didn't even know who Herc is. Is it him? I don't think I'd really get along with him, as he's holding his harpoon in place of his penis. You could say that my hatred for pre-order bonuses comes from the fact that I'm incredibly poor and can't ever actually afford to buy games pre-ordered, which it isn't, really, because there are some cases where video game companies will like chip off a small amount of content that should be in the full game, and then go like, hey, do you want this character? Why don't you just go and spend an extra billion pounds on already expensive video games for a limited edition version? It's just trying to make sales before critics can allow to, like, to get their hands on it and actually have their say vocally to possibly sway the masses and dissuade them from 
you know, buying this game. If it's so, if it's a complete piece of shit, it all it can like be a financial success either way, and therefore the gaming industry can never learn from its problems because even shit games make lots of money because of pre-order bonuses. Hey everyone, uh, thank you for watching my video quickly, thank you very much. So, I did something different which might actually be a reoccurring thing, so look forward to that if you actually enjoyed uh, watching me be critical about things. If you didn't, leave some feedback down below, such as, I hate you, please die. That's a fun one to read if you liked it, maybe you could even um, like the video, I know, it's a, it's a new concept, don't worry, you'll wrap your head around it soon, you can learn it very quickly, uh, so yeah, hopefully, see you another time, toodaloo! It is like a million degrees outside, and I am wearing fucking hoodie and tie and nice shirts, it's too hot, too hot, I quit. That's it. Go home. As no one in the buyer's market should have any invested, vested, invested interest. Let's alone the idea that you can't even... Let's alone the idea that you can... There's quickly realising that I messed my lines. I'm taking this with me.